when we are in process, we are sometimes in, the, in, to, in, in places where there's very high vibrations and there's temperature changes. There's a lot of things going on out there. And we want really to be independent. We want to go in in the process where the, the real critical point in the process is, and we want to go in there and not, not 10 or 20 meters further down because the vibration is not as heavy down there. No, we need to be on the right place to be able to react and control our process as tight as possible. I have been out many times and do consulting where to, ins uh, to install. Most important thing, you need to know your process. Because in a process, you have a process, you can split up a process in different small steps. And then, of course, you can say, I would like to monitor this and this and this and this. And this and this position. This is, this is the first step. The next step is to find out where is the real critical point. Because the critical point is where we can actually give a lot of value by having continuous results, because then you can react on it. But that's not enough. Finding the most critical point in the process is, of course, often possible, but you also need to be able to do something. The next question is, of course, to be answered is, can I control my process? Because just monitoring doesn't add much value. Yeah, you don't have a person running out and in uh, taking samples. Yeah, you have a monitor, but you know where your process are. No. To really get value out of an inline solution is you have to use the results for continuous adjusting your process. If you don't know how to adjust your process, then there's not a lot of value. So find the critical point, find out how you will use the results to optimize your process. Maybe reducing the variation and move the production target closer to the specification. If you want to get the real value out of a process instrument, you will need to react on the results and maybe reduce the variation and produce closer to your specification or add more water, reduce the protein concentration and so on by better controlling your process. Let me give you an example. If you want to measure moisture, protein, fat, fiber and so on, if you get four results, out of an inline instrument, and you have to react on all these four results, how would you control the system based on four different parameters? I know how to do it with one parameter, because then you can open a valve or adjust a pump and stuff like that. If we have two, then we have to have two strings in to, add, to adjust both for total solid and fat, for instance. And that's very complicated because if you just add a little bit of this, then you change this one. They are not independent. And if you take number three, then it's going to be <clears throat> not easy. So what we normally say is, what is the critical parameter in this step of the process? And this is used for process optimization. The other ones are, are what we will say monitoring. They may be monitoring something going on further upstream in the process. You can take any application or any installation of inline. The most important thing is, as I said before, you have to find the critical point in your process and find out which, what parameter is important to control to optimize your process. And, and I can take an example from dairy, from uh, in the flour mill, or you can go to a meat plant. It is the same story all over. If you take a feed mill, there's a lot of places where you can add value by going inline. You can say, okay, we have the raw materials. And we have the mix of the raw materials. And then, of course, if you go, go further into the process, then you make pellets and you maybe add fat. And yeah, there's a lot of steps. So to identify the most critical point is the first step, as I said before. Uh, here we can say, in feet, in some type of feet, one of, one of the main parameters or the important parameters is, of course, protein. And how, go, how do we control the protein concentration in the final product? Where in the process can we interfere and optimize so we have exactly the protein concentration we want in the final feet? And then you have to go back in your process and find out where is the main control point 
if you want to control the protein in the final product. And then you can go <laughs> back in the process and say, here it is. And here we have to go in. We have to go in and install it. And again, how do we control it? So we can say, the pro if we do this and this, then the protein is correct in the final end. Same if you want to control the moisture concentration in your final product, in the feed product, then it's another place in, in the process where you may have to go into control. So depending on what you're going to do, you have to identify the most critical point where you can control your, your, your parameter. 